Alright, so we have our iPhone 3G, it's jailbroken, and now we want to install the best program of them all, and that is NetShare. So we've downloaded the program, I will provide a link to download it, and now we just gotta put it on our iPhone. So, I wish I had got this the legitimate way, then I might have not jailbroken my iPhone. Maybe I would, maybe I wouldn't have. But we have, so now we're going to put it on our iPhone. So first thing we're going to do is use SSH. Root your IP or whatever you want to call it. Username root password alpine. We're using Cyberduck and we want SFPT. Alright, so we'll connect. Alright, so here we are connected. And the first thing we're going to do is go up to the top directory, and that is here where we are. So first thing, we'll go into Applications, and this is where we take our NetShare app here. Okay, so we just drag and drop it in. NetShare app is going to upload, and now we have NetShare here. Next thing we want to do is right click on NetShare, hit info, and we want to change the permission to 775, apply, and I'm just going to do it on this one too, 775, apply. Okay, so, so that's done, that share is uploaded. Now there's one more thing we need to do. And that is, we're going to hit, double click on the folder var, then go to mobile, and here we're going to create a new folder. And we're going to call this folder Documents. And then we're going to right click again. Info. Permissions are going to be 777. Apply. Okay, so that's done. So we can quit, quit out of here. Go back to our iPhone. And we are going to restart our iPhone. And hopefully the application is there and it's working. So power off. Okay, so we're booted up. There's not share. Net share loads. So now we move on to step to phase two. The first thing we want to do is go up here and we want to hit create network. We are just going to call it tether alright okay so now this is what our airport shows us Next thing we want to do is open network preferences. And here we are connected to Tether. We want to hit advanced. TCIP. And then we want to hit using DHCP manual address. And we're going to put on our address. It's 192.1. Eight point ten point two. The next step we go to is we hit proxies and then we are going to select Fox proxy and the address for that is one nine two point one six eight point ten point one and the port you type here is 1080. Okay, so that's that. 
hit OK, and then you have to hit Apply. Alright, so go to Wi-Fi, we're connected to our network here, Tether, we'll hit the blue arrow, go to Static, and then we put in this number 192.168.10.1. Okay, so that's that. On your iPhone, it should have the 3G logo up here, not the Wi-Fi logo. We're still connected to our network. Okay, now we can go into NetShare. And on here, it should have these two, the two numbers there. Okay, now we can test and see if it works. Okay, so we are, so we're going to launch Safari. And then we are going to go to our web page. It loads. And as you can see here, it is getting data. We are not connected to any Wi Fi network, normal Wi Fi network. We're connected to NetShare. So here, so we're going to click something on Safari. It's going to use data there. And like I said, it's pretty fast. Definitely not super fast, but I don't know, seems to work fine for me if you want to just use the web and tether. So it does work. Um, I don't know, you can't really go wrong. This, this program is totally worth jailbreaking your iPhone for. It works well and I'm happy I'm happy to have it.